Uh, so hello and welcome. Um, I'm super excited to be talking to Amy Blanding and Sarah Osborne, two of the artists participating in the Mom Celebration album. Uh, my name is Kate. I am a board member for the Music on the Mountain Society. Uh, thank you both for, for being here tonight. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so the song is River Keeper. It's written by Sarah Osborne and covered by Amy Blanding. This is the second release off the album full of cover songs recorded by musicians who were scheduled to perform at the Mom 2020, which of course got cancelled for obvious reasons. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit more about the album after the interview. But um, I just have a, a quick question to start off our conversation here. Um, Mom Festival brings people together from all over, really. Um, so both of, us, both of you are a little bit far flung. Um, to start off, where are you based and what has your COVID life been like lately? Give me a little snapshot of, of a day in the life of, of you. Uh, Sarah, we'll start with you. Okay, um, I actually moved to Gabriel Island, not Galliano Island, Gabriel Island. Common um, mistake. Yeah, <laughs> I've actually had people be like, I'm here, I'm like, you're on the wrong island. Um, <laughs> I moved here, basically when everything went down, I lost a couple months of touring and had this urge to get back into the woods and I sought out some folks I knew on islands and various rural places and ended up here and it's been a lot of uh, self-reflection and alone time and kind of shifting from a performance mindset to more of creating content and also started a recording project and stuff and that's actually been and actually taking a business class a music business class so all of that has really helped me in a lot of different ways and kept me sane and being around nature is amazing and I'm garden got a little gardening uh day job and I'm loving that a lot so it's it's been really good it's kind of like living in a retirement community but <laughs> it is living in a retirement community but it's been really beautiful awesome yeah how about you Amy um, well, I'm situated on the traditional territory of the Clayley Tunay, um, also known as Prince George. So um, I have a little home here by the river and I live here with my partner, Scott, and our new little dude named Oliver, Ollie. So I had him six months ago. And so that's been my COVID life has been um, being pregnant, having a baby and now postpartum life. Um, figuring all of that out so it's it's been pretty cool and also uh, pretty isolating to have a baby and go through a process where they say it takes a village to raise a child and my village consists of one other person and um, so that's been something interesting to navigate but I think we've done a really good job and um, my kid is awesome I love him to bits and I'm starting now, have over the past couple of months gotten back into more of a creative um, flow. I sort of turned it off for a little while at the beginning of COVID. I felt kind of depressed by it and not at all motivated. So I just sort of accepted that in myself. And, you know, there's a time and a season for everything. And definitely I felt a thawing out over the past couple of months, which has been really exciting and um, looking forward to some new collaborative projects over the next year um, mixed in with parenting so we'll see how that all works but um, yeah feeling pretty good about it these days that's great and I can vouch for the awesomeness of Ollie he's a really <laughs> cool little person he's got great <laughs> oh, facial thank expressions you. Oh, <laughs> oh. Um, okay so I think we should listen to the song and then and then we'll talk about it after how does that Gosh. sound cool awesome So I'm just gonna um, share my screen here and then uh, we should all be able to hear the song play. Come true. 
Um, legit tears. <laughs> I don't know if it's because you both gave such like honest and vulnerable answers to that that first question, but that really it really struck a chord for me there. I was tearing up a little. Mm-hmm. Um, so Sarah, tell tell us how you're feeling. I okay. It's like when you have a favorite T-shirt and you give it away, but you don't want to. But then you see someone else wearing it, and you get to enjoy it from a whole different perspective. That's how I feel. So I thought you nailed it. You gave it a whole different life and kind of folked it up in a great way. And I love the arrangement. I might actually steal that, but I'll talk to you about that after. Steal away. (laughs) Yeah, really. It's just like it's just so nice and and such a nice feeling yeah thank you good job amazing and amy um how did you choose the song did you did you immediately know that was the one you wanted to cover did you did you kind of think about it for a little while no i didn't i didn't immediately know um i actually spent quite a bit of time going through the catalog of sarah's music um you have so much music and there is such a diversity. And um, the thing about this project is that I wanted to take an opportunity to um, choose something that was perhaps um, like a different color than myself. Um, So like, you know, do something totally punk and make it Amy Blanding or, and Sarah gave me the opportunity to take something jazzy and, Um, still sort of pay homage to the original but then also give it my own spin and I think that that's like there are a couple of choices you can make with a cover you can like nail it exactly like the original Mm -hmm. or you can kind of go in a completely different direction but I think that there's something so um, there's such great imagery in Riverkeeper like I get this essence of of what summer feels like to me. I live on the river and I think that's probably what attracted the so- to me to the song the most was I was immediately drawn to just that imagery and that feeling that I get living here and watching the water move and the lazy days, but also the hardworking days. And so it was like, there was a quiet pulse to Riverkeeper that I just kind of kept coming back to. And it ended up being a really easy choice and then I Sarah yeah. it was one of her like favorites that she hadn't played in a while and I was like oh this is great so yeah I don't know how, I think it kind of hooked me yeah so Sarah you mentioned um the arrangement on that cover how were those kinds of decisions made Amy um that's a good question I just I I think starting out um I just played around with the song to learn it um and then Sarah has a very different voice than I do and a very different style. And so at a couple of points I needed to like put down the mandolin and, and let myself just like uh, feel out myself, I guess, from, from the song. I try to pull myself out of it mm-hmm. because I, I didn't want to try to be her because it's like, she's got such a power, you have such a powerful voice and like powerful presence. And like, um, that's something that I've, struggled with as an artist of like, you know, stepping into a lead singing role and really trying to like own that place. So I didn't, I kind of had to step away and then come back to it. And I really just, I played it for my son, like over and over again. I was like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Like do some lilts and this and that. And then it it kind of fell into it. Like I have a a fairly distinct style that I think um, worked really well with, with the, with the lyrics once I sort of got the rhythm down. And then the, the arrangement really just came together when I got in studio with Bryn, Bryn Porter. Yeah, I was gonna ask for Bryn. Awesome. Yeah. Great. And he, he's a great coach behind the booth, yeah. like in the booth, um, like he just like left some open space and mm-hmm. I feel really safe with him. And then um, Bryn knows this, but basically any artistic decision that he ever wants to make, I give him full rights to do it because he's such a genius. So he was like, what do you think about some harmonica? And I was like, give her. <laughs> and I just, I asked him for some bass and um, he really pulled it together. Like I, it, the song I'm, I think took over when he, 
when he added his touch to it. So cool. yeah, can't thank him enough. Like Bryn's amazing. It's, mm-hmm. it's a, it's a beautiful song and a beautiful version of that song. Um, have you both attended a, a mom festival in the past? I have not actually. This not would have yet. been your first. Yeah. Uh, have you? Year, maybe? I have. Yeah. I, mom was actually the very first festival I ever played. So oh. I, like, I have a lot of, I have a lot of nostalgia and love for mom. I've played it a number of times now, a couple of times as a solo act and a couple of times with my old band and um, when it was on the mountain and then it was in the meadow and back on the mountain, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> that's, that's the aim. Um, so do you have a favorite, do you have a favorite moment from mom? Oh yeah. You got one? Yeah, I was, it was after like the 2 a.m. set. So like there's the, there's the rocking set set and then there's the party set, you know, wherever you're either like drunk or asleep um or whatever and um so I was walking behind the stage and that set was finished and I was walking with Lindsay Pratt and Scott Cook and the aurora came out so the northern lights were all across the sky and Lindsay said you know if you sing to the aurora it sings back like it'll answer back and she has this unbelievable voice and Scott Cook has this unbelievable voice and so the three of us are there like howling at the sky and you can see the lights move and I have no idea if we had an impact <laughs> or if it was just serendipitous I was not high or drunk none of that <laughs> for them but um yeah it was just one of those moments that like <sighs> blows the mind totally and Sarah, what are you most looking forward to at the next Mom Fest, whenever that might be? Oh, just, you know, being around the people and meeting people who tell you things like singing to the Northern Lights, help they sing back, you know, those those little moments of, of connection and, and meeting new friends and yeah. yeah. And coming up, up north, it's beautiful up there. I've only been a couple of times, but yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, have you felt a sense of community through this project of sharing music and kind of meeting new people? I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, at least a few more people in the North when you come <laughs> up here next. And Amy, you nailed those parts. Like when it goes to the A minor, you nailed those parts on vocals. Oh, like you, I was just like, oh, oh yes, yes, awesome. yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, dude, when you come up, we'll sing it together and we'll yes! do this, like mashup thing and yeah I might cry I probably oh, will man. it's fine we'll I'm just it. so excited <laughs> to hear the rest of the album because I think like it's such COVID's been a bitch in a lot of ways but you know Sarah you alluded to like more content development and projects and things like that and these up opportunities for like creatives to even get more creative and had we been at mom in person this past year this album probably wouldn't exist right Right. and this opportunity for us to deep dive into each other's music and to see who's who's out there and like I don't know it's just a really cool diamond in the rough and I want I want to hear it like I can't like some of the the cover swaps are hilarious (laughs) so and I totally get what you mean like the I covered Saltwater Hank and I was like do hmm. I do it like him or do I do it like me or should I do it like heavy metal styles and homage to like his old way but I decided the same thing like okay how can I bring myself into it and that was definitely part of the process so thanks for what song did you do of his <laughs> Coyote Coyote. Away trade secrets oh, right now, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> A hint, a hint. <laughs> I'm sure tra- I'm trying to learn how to yodel. I'm not sure if I really did it, but it was fun. <laughs> um, so for those that are interested, this whole album can be found at momfest.bandcamp.com. Right now it's just the two songs released. There's a Saltwater Hank cover of uh, Folky Strumstrom's tune, uh, Dirty Thirties. Uh, and then this song, River Keeper, Amy Blanding covering Sarah Osborne. But the whole album will be released over the course of the next few months. Um, so make ch- sure you check back periodically. And um, yeah, the full release will happen mid-April sometime around when our, our, our dearly dearly loved mom fest would have been um you can stream it but of course uh if you can please consider buying it and supporting music on the mountain society and future mom fests because they will happen um 
And just as a final word, we gratefully acknowledge the support of the BC Arts Council. Um, thank you both so much for talking to me tonight. This is really great. Thanks. Kate. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for having us. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Yay. <laughs> so soon. Come on down if you bring your babies. We'll all end up on the wrong <laughs> island, Sarah. <laughs> we'll call you from, from Galliano. Wait, I've already forgotten which one you're on. <laughs> I don't even know the difference. Gabriel. It's so bad. Oh. I know. You river, river dweller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Okay. Have a good night. Bye.